welcome back to the Big Jim Country Boy YouTube channel. Today we're in the kitchen again, cooking a recipe that me and Big Jim Country Boy came up with. It's our Memorial Day salad, and today we're going to be showing you how to make it. So to start off, I got this pot here. I got it filled up about a third of the way with water. We're going to turn this on. Now, it's not required, but I have this nice little uh, cooking tool here. Now, the way it works is you stick it in a pot like this, and it clamps onto the side. Then, on the other end, it has a little plug like this, and you just plug it into the wall. Now, I do have the uh, gas stove on. Um, have that, the gas stove on high. And I have this other thing here. It's the uh, kitchen gizmo wired. So we're just going to turn this on. There's a button at the top. Now this will not bring the water to a boiling temperature, but it gets it pretty close. This will heat the water to 194 degrees Fahrenheit which gets it really close to boiling and it helps it heat up quicker I'll leave a link down in the description if you want to check it out it'll be to amazon.com so next step is why that water's getting ready to boil we're going to take this pot here we're going to put some water in it and we're going to boil some eggs I have our I'm going to move this pot back a burner so you can see the eggs over here so as you can see in this pot here I put some water in, some water in there and I'm going to get some eggs out So I'm going to boil six large eggs. Okay, so in this pot I have six large eggs. So we're going to bring these to a boil. Now, 
try to turn this so you can see it. Our electro or electric gizmo up to 112 degrees already. Between that and our uh, gas range here. It's a big help with cooking pasta, uh, boiling uh, water for potatoes. I use it all the time cooking. For this recipe, you're also going to need. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. It's two pounds of elbow macaroni. Six eggs. Some Miracle Whip mayonnaise, ranch dressing, and Italian dressing. Some bacon. The bacon's not necessary. We're just going to add it for a little extra. So, why you wait for your, normally I'd be boiling potatoes here too, but I already did that last night to save myself some time. Now, normally, if I was doing this, I would use red potatoes, so I don't have to peel them. Because they got a softer skin. But this is what I had on hand. I got uh, four large uh, russet potatoes. I should have peeled them before I cooked them. But we're going to show you an easy way to peel them after you cook them. And we're going to mix all this stuff together. As soon as, we, as, soon as um, our water for our noodles boils and we can get that cooked. And our eggs are done. We're going to shuffle some pots and pans around here. Move this one over here. We're going to use this pan here to uh, fry up our bacon. Now, this bacon, so it's easier to uh, chop up for the salad, you want it crispy, but you don't want it burnt. So I got our pan here on high. This bacon here. Just gonna dump that in our pan. Now I recommend anytime you're cooking with a, a Teflon nonstick pan, don't use any. Uh, metal cooking utensils because it scrapes the Teflon off. In a case like this where we need a pair of tongs, instead of using a pair like this that are metal on the end, I have a pair like this. They have uh, rubber or plastic ends on them. That way you don't scratch the pan and the Teflon doesn't come off of your food and you don't ruin your non-stick pan. I think these pair I got from the dollar store, they were a dollar. So they come in handy. So I'm just going to lay the bank bake it out in here. So it all cooks up nice and evenly. There might be extra bacon here. If so, a little country girl will eat it for breakfast tomorrow.
So we're just going to turn this bacon over. For the folks out there that are watching this video, if you have a dog, you dump a little bit of this bacon grease on his food. For the ladies watching the YouTube channel, you got a husband that won't eat his vegetables, you can dump a little bit on that, it'll smell like bacon, he'll probably eat it. Our kitchen gizmo here is up to its max temperature of 195 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm just going to unplug it. Careful, it drips out hot water. Put that to the side. I'm just gonna put a lid on the pot, help keep some of that steam in, in the heat. So our bacon here is all nice and crispy. We're gonna turn the pan off.
So there's our bacon all crisped up. So we're going to take this pan here and move it to the side. Turn this pot off here in the back. I'm just going to move it over here. Got a little bit bigger burner with some more heat. Now that the bacon's done. Our water here for our noodles is boiling. So we're going to take our two pound box of elbow macaroni. And as soon as you do that, you guys got to stir them in or else that hot water is going to make them stick together. And just make sure you keep stirring them every little while. Now you can see how much that uh, kitchen gizmo works. Because here's this little pot. I know I started it later, but here's this little pot. I only started it later by a minute or two. With less water. Smaller pot, less water. On a burner it's about the same size. Is it even boiling yet? And that one's boiling. It's more water, bigger pot. And all the thing I did different was use that electric kitchen gizmo. So it does work. It comes in handy. Our water here for our noodles is boiling. So we're going to take our two pound box of elbow macaroni. And as soon as you do that, you guys got to stir them in. Or else that hot water is going to make them stick together. And just make sure you keep stirring them every little while. Now you can see how much that uh, kitchen gizmo works. Because here's this little pot. I know I started it later, but here's this little pot. I only started it later by a minute or two. With less water. Smaller pot, less water. On a burner it's about the same size. Is it even boiling yet? And that one's boiling. It's more water, bigger pot. And all the thing I did different was use that electric kitchen gizmo. So it does work. It comes in handy. see our eggs are boiling here I recommend you set 
a kitchen timer or a stopwatch to about to 10 minutes or so. I have a kitchen timer here on our microwave. So I'm just going to set that. And our noodles here are coming along nice. Just got to remember to keep stirring them or else they're going to stick together and make big clumps. Now all you need to strain your noodles is this normal strainer like this and have it ready in the sink. So when your noodles are ready, you can just dump them in here and cool them off right away so they stop cooking. There's been times where I forgot to get the strainer out, went looking for it, and my noodles were overcooked by the time I found the strainer, got them strained and cooled off. Now a good way to check to see if your noodles are done or not is just to take one, blow on it, and just see if they're to your liking. I know I suggest you stir the pot up and try to do it a couple times. So our noodles are done here. Gonna grab our uh, pot holders here. I'm gonna step out of camera view here and dump this water into the strainer. Now you wanna put cold water on them right away and help cut back on some of the heat so they stop cooking. It's very important, or else you're gonna have mush. Now, when you come to put your pot back on the stove, put it on a burner that's not hot so it doesn't heat up your noodles. Then just give your noodles and the strainer a couple of shakes to get some of the water out. Then you can just bring it over. Here, if you don't dump any out of the pot, try to keep them in the pot the best you can. Now, our timer is about ready to run out here on our eggs. So, what I'm going to do is turn the cold water on over here in the sink. 
We're gonna take the lid off of our pot here. And we're gonna take these over and I'm gonna set them in the sink. And I'm gonna let the cold water run into the pot and keep and overflow out all the hot water till the water's cold and then we're gonna let this egg sit a little while. In the cold water, we're gonna get some ice cubes here too. I just put a whole tray of ice cubes in that pot of eggs with the water. And ice cubes take our cutting board here. I'm going to lay down some towels so it doesn't slide around too easy. See? See, it's a little bit more firm. So if you cook your potatoes and you want to take the peels off after you cook them, the easiest tool that I found is one of these knives here. I guess you call it a uh, butter knife or a dinner knife. So you just want to carefully catch the skin and you can peel it off. Okay, so the next step is we're just going to cut these up. The next step is our eggs. So the easiest way I find to uh, peel hard boiled eggs is I crack them like you would a regular egg. I just break it up real nice and small, go all the way around the egg, and you want to try to get underneath, there's a thin uh, part of the egg right under the shell, between the shell and the egg white, called the membrane, and you just want to try to get hold of that. If you can get a hold of that, the whole shell comes off nice and easy.
Now we're just going to carefully cut our eggs up here. here and I'm going to get out our salad dressings. Oops, I almost forgot. We gotta chop up our bacon yet. Bacon's gonna add a nice flavor to this salad. Just make sure you don't miss any pieces like I did. I just wanted to get this on camera. Here's a bottle of Italian dressing. I cannot turn the cap to get it off. So I went and I grabbed these. Can you see that? Well, that was on there good. Now, when you take Italian dressing, or any dressing that's got oil in it, you want to make sure you shake it up real good and mix the oil with the vinegar and stuff. Now, for Italian dressing, I'm putting one cup in here. And for ranch, it's going to be the same thing. It's going to be a cup.
So we got our pot here. Let me move this over so you can see a little bit better. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our potatoes, our eggs, and our bacon. We're going to dump it in here on top of our elbow macaroni. Then I have about a cup and a half of whipped salad dressing. It comes in like a mayonnaise jar, like Miracle Whip. So we're going to dump that in there. Then I have a little bit over about a cup and three quarters of mayonnaise. Then I have a cup of Italian dressing. And a cup of ranch dressing. You're going to need a nice tool like this. I recommend not using them. Uh, plastic spoon for this, or you're, you're going to have a slingshot. If you can get a decent metal spoon that you like, that might work. You're going to have to do a lot of mixing here. you got to get this all mixed in nice. So, the story behind this recipe for salad was one Memorial Day, me, and my dad, Big Jim Country Boy, were sitting around. We wanted potato salad, macaroni salad for the holiday. So, we went to go make our potato salad and we had only had two or three potatoes so we had a little bowl of potato salad probably about a bowl uh, this big then we went to go make our macaroni salad then we made a macaroni salad probably used about I don't know two pounds of noodles like what we use today so then we were looking at it. We said to ourselves, well, we got this little bowl of potato salad. And there was probably barely enough to go around between all of us. So what we did was, is we dumped the potato salad and with the macaroni salad, mixed it up, and now we call it Memorial Day salad because we made it on Memorial Day. Once you get this all nice and mixed up, wash your hands because we're probably going to be a mess. So, you got your pot of salad. Now, what I like to do for some better presentation, 
when you serve it, is not to leave it in this big pot. Have this nice, shallow, I guess it's probably maybe like a cupcake tray, I don't know. It's a bowl. I don't know if you can see that too awful well. Now, before we get too farther, I forgot a step. Take some of this black pepper here. We got a pepper grinder. That usually works better. You have white pepper if you don't want to see your black spots. You have to use that. We're just going to add some in here. A few nice grinds. I'm just going to mix it in nice. Okay, so you got your salad, you got your dish, you're going to put your salad in. So, what we're going to try to do here, is dump this in here, without getting it all over the place. We're just going to take it and we're going to try to level it out nice. Still got some in the bottom here, so I'm just gonna now I recommend for easy cleanup, take this pot if you're not gonna wash it right away, and fill it up with water, and let it soak. That way it keeps everything nice and loose, nothing gets on there real tough and crusted. Now you don't have to do smooth this out make it level. I just think it looks nicer. Especially if you're gonna be making this for a party or something. Now we're not doing nothing like that. We're just making it for to go with dinner for the next couple nights. So, let's get a little bit more black pepper onto the top here. Normally, I'd put a little bit of parsley on top, but I forgot that, and I left it. Forgot to get that at the store. So, just a little bit of black pepper for some garnish. So, don't forget, if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up down below. Leave a comment. Tell us what you think, and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button, and once you do, click the little bell next to it, and go check out some more of our cooking videos. we got a cooking playlist, we got tons of vacation videos, we got a whole playlist full. Go watch some more of our videos, I think we're up to almost 60 now, probably, probably be at 60 by the time this video goes up. So thank you for watching.